Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sun News and Ford Nation. I'm Mayor Rob Ford. You've heard the late night comedians. You've heard the critics. You've heard about the pundits. You've heard the criticism and the counselors. Now tonight, I want you to listen to me. Here's a look at how we ended up where we are today. Election night 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, we will stop the green train once and for all. Political victory for a man few expected to win. But Rob Ford has always been the renegade. He was first elected to Toronto City Council in 2000, representing Toronto's West End suburb of Etobicoke. Ford built political support showing up on voters' doorsteps and returning every call. How are the problems over there? Oh, still the same? On council, he was the lone wolf, the constant critic on new spending. And in 2009, a turning point for Toronto. <laughs> A 39-day garbage strike. Unions demanded more from taxpayers. Tensions rose, so did the trash piles. This was the nail in the coffin for Mayor David Miller, who in seven years let city spending balloon nearly 40%. But a death knell for Miller set the tone for the Rob Ford mayoral campaign. I've been watching every single dime that's being spent and enough is enough. Ford drove a wave of public anger against Toronto's overspending ways. He capitalized on suburban dissent and became the alternative for voters upset with the so-called downtown elite running the city. It will not be easy to end the gravy train, but I will do it. Still, Ford was the long shot. His top rival, a well-connected former provincial cabinet minister, George Smitherman. Both faced campaign controversy. Rob Ford forced to explain a past DUI and pot charge in Florida. Smitherman confessing to a past drug addiction linked to the gay party scene. But on election day, the ballot box question was clear. Who can you trust with your money? Ford grasped a decisive win with 47% of the popular vote. And he began work right away. He made Toronto Transit an essential service, eliminated the car registration tax, contracted out trash collection in the city's west, and saved over $100 million in labor contracts. But in early 2013, public focus sharply turned from council business to what the mayor was doing outside the office. Reports of the mayor drunk at a public function, and then this infamous photo, and reports the mayor was caught on camera smoking crack cocaine. Rob Ford is facing a bombshell. The alleged video remains one of the hottest stories in Toronto. This is lies after lies and lies, and I've called you pathological liars, and you are. The pressure mounted, and after seven days, this statement. I do not use crack cocaine, nor am I an addict. On his weekly radio show, Ford vowed to move on, but in his office, turmoil, with his chief of staff, Mark Toohey, fired and other top staffers resigning. Within weeks, a major police drug raid in Etobicoke. Among the targets, an apartment where the Rob Ford crack video was allegedly held. Police would not confirm a connection until this October press conference. The digital video file that we have recovered um, depicts images which are consistent with those that had previously been reported in the press. The mayor does appear in, in, those, in that video. A stunning comment and with it extortion charges against the mayor's friend and occasional driver Sandro Lisi, all relating to the video. Demands for an explanation intensified. Get off my property! Public Get pressure on the mayor property. ramped up at home and at work and after months of denials a stunning admission. Yes I have some to crack cocaine. Okay. When, but sir. no, do I? Am I at it? No. When have you have I tried it? Um, probably in one of my drunken stupors. Ford isn't facing any charges. He sees no reason to resign. But his council colleagues demand he take a leave of absence. Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. And now, court-released police documents allege lurid activities in the mayor's office surrounding drugs and drinking and driving. Plus, allegations of sexual harassment of a staffer prompts a crude outburst and another apology. It says that I wanted to eat her I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. I used unforgivable language. And again, I apologize. Daily apologies, confessions, and the media crush. It's a circus at City Hall. Motions have now moved to strip the mayor's powers. Councillors turn their backs when he speaks. But Rob Ford, well, he continues this unprecedented fight for political survival. The question is, can he win? Sneha Kolkarni, Sun News Network. Well, I want to welcome everyone to Sun News. And uh, Councillor Ford, myself, 
I'm the mayor of Toronto, Rob Ford. I uh, understand that uh, people um, were embarrassed by some of the actions that I've taken in the past. All I can do is assure you, assure you that uh, I, I am changing my behavior. Um, I'm working with a team of professionals and I'm working out every day. Um, but that's in my personal life. I was elected to go down to City Hall to end the gravy train. It's still not over. I have a lot of work to do. Like you saw, we have saved a billion dollars. And these aren't my numbers. These are the numbers coming from our city manager and Rob Rossini. Yes, I'm human. I've made mistakes. But I want to move on. I want to privatize garbage on the east side of Young Street. I want to re get rid of that and land transfer tax. I, I, I want to move on saving taxpayers money, create jobs, stimulate the economy. That's what I've been doing and I want to continue doing it. Look at my record. Everybody has skeletons in their closet. Mines have been exposed. I can't speak for other councillors, but if council wants to strip all my powers, do whatever they want to do. I disagree with it, but you know what? They have their rights and I think it's wrong. I think it's uh, illegal, but the people are going to have their say on October 27th. I return every phone call that comes to my office and I'm going to continue to do that and go to the people's front door to serve them. So, well, Rob, the, you're saying that they're going to strip your, your powers. As much as it's, uh, you know, as, as far as I'm... They're going to take away all my staff. I, I, so. No, I realize that. But you know something? Um, I've always said uh, they don't have the moral authority. They don't have the legal authority. But there's one thing they can't strip from you. They can't strip the power of the people. And we saw that the other day, folks. I, I went into Walmart the other day, and it was just non-stop. It was just consistent. We support you. Ignore the media. Just keep moving forward. Our city is booming, and uh, we support the mayor. Tell him, do not give up on us. Do oh. not give up. And I, it took me 15 minutes just to get out of the parking lot. I got an 15. idea. I, it I, took I, me, I went out to a restaurant last night, took my family out. It took me four hours to leave the restaurant. I want to, I, it's, it's humbling. I want to thank my supporters for sticking with me. I, I, I guarantee you're going to see a change in the next few months. And talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words. I love the city. I love being mayor. And I love saving taxpayers' money. And I'm going to continue doing that. Do you want a slick-talking lawyer, the slick-talking um, consultants, lobbyists? They're the people. Or do you want tax to spend uh, socialists? Or do you want a mayor that watches every single dime at City Hall, which I've been doing for the last 13 years? Well, Rob, you know, Sun Media went out and uh, Sun News went out <laughs> and uh, went and asked some folks some uh, questions. And why don't we go and, and by the way, folks, the produ producer that talks in my ear here, he hasn't told us these questions. So these are cold turkey. Uh, let's see what the people of uh, Toronto have to say. Rob Ford, do you think that the mayor of North America's third largest city should be a role model to citizens, children, anybody else? Well, well absolutely, um, you should be a role model, but I'm only human. I am not perfect. I have yet to make, uh, I've seen someone who has never made a mistake in their life. And I, I am a role model. I've helped out thousands and thousands and thousands of people when they were, nobody else would help them out, I've been there. I've taken you 14, 15 year olds that have been sleeping in parks that have been kicked out of their house for whatever reason it may be and taken them under my wing and brought them home and told them to sleep on the couch and we'll talk about it in the morning. You know what, am I perfect? I'm not perfect, but I'll tell you what I am perfect at, watching taxpayers' money, creating jobs, stimulating the economy, having no, no labor disruption at all, we building subways, things that people said cannot be done. You will not have labor peace in this city. I have labor peace. We've given the unions a great deal. They're happy. I'm happy. People are happy with private garbage collections. You will never see that again. Taxes are lower than ever before. You look at our tax increases on the last and four years on average, it's one and three quarter percent. I'll put this city up against any other city. This city is a hundred times better than it was three years ago. That's for sure. Why don't we take another question? Let, let it roll. I just feel that, you know, the mayor probably has his own troubles, but the press is, I think, a little bit too hard on him. A lot of it has to do with his private life, not his public life. But I think that's what's called for when, you know, you're in the public eye. 
I wish him well. I think he probably needs to step down, though. Makes it easy for everybody. Well, I, I'm not stepping down. Um, I, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drug addict. I was elected to represent the people of this city with the 380 some odd thousand votes, the largest in Canada's history. People are telling me to stay the course, keep fighting for the little guy. I, 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 I say this, there are more poor people than rich people in the city. I take the side of the poor people that have been neglected, the people in Toronto community housing that I visit day in and day out and fix the holes and they live with cockroaches and live with mice and their fridges aren't working, their stoves aren't working. Nobody, no matter how much money you have, should live in these conditions. I cleaned up Toronto community housing, all the big parties they used to have, all the lavish boat cruises used to have, I cleaned them out. I want to thank Eugene Jones and Bud Purvis for their leadership in that. I, I want to build subways on Shepherd, on Finch, on the downtown relief line. I don't believe in the LRTs and streetcars like we have on St. Clair. That's a complete disaster, what's going on there. It's putting people out of work. Now they're spending $500,000 on doing an environmental assessment for bike lanes on Bloor Street. That's a complete waste of money. Spending $5 million on buying a half an acre of green uh, grass. It, 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 this is ridiculous. We have enough parkland in the city. You don't go out and spend $5 million on uh, a, a half an acre of land. Uh, land. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, Rob, let's take another question here. I just want to say that I think the mayor's biggest crime is uh, the fact that he's taken the attention away from the provincial liberals, blowing $1.1 billion on the uh, gas plants. Okay, you know what, I, 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 and that, that gentleman's right. You look what's happening at Queen's Park, folks. You will never, ever, ever find Rob Ford stealing one red cent of taxpayers' money. There's no money scandals here. I've never been charged with any money scandals. You look what's happening at Queen's Park. There, that is almost criminal. What they're doing, spending $1.1 billion, absolutely gone. You look what's happening up in Ottawa with, with, with the senators. Outright gone taxpayers' money. I'm, I can turn around and show you a list of a billion dollars that I have saved the taxpayers in the last three years. And these aren't my numbers, folks. These are the numbers coming from the city manager and the chief financial officer. My job, I've never once went down to City Hall intoxicated or under the influence of drugs. And yes, I have made mistakes in the past, but only time will tell. Action speaks louder than words. And you're going to see action like you've never been seen before. If you want lobbyists and consultants and, you know, you want the Tories, the Stints, the Minnewongs, the Chows, all those slick talking people. You know what? On October 27th, you're going to have a choice. Do you want someone that watches every single dime or do you want someone who you're not quite sure where they're coming from? But one thing you know, they can they can talk pretty smooth, but you better watch your pocketbook, folks. OK, let's go for another question. So personally, I count myself as a member of Ford Nation. How are you planning on putting all of this behind you and preparing for next year's elections? You know what? I, there's no other choice. I have to put it behind me because I can't change the past. The past is the past. It is what it is. I, I've admitted to my mistakes. All I can know is I've got a platform ready to go. We're going to register on January 2nd. People are calling me nonstop wanting to donate. It's humbling. It's very, very, very humbling to have the support that I have here. I want to continue doing this job. I love this city, like I said before, and, and there's nothing more that drives me than saving what, taxpayers' money. What, what are you going to do, Rob, in, in moving forward? Uh, the, the gentleman asked you, what are you going to do in the next well, election? Well, well, I'm dealing with like, health care professionals. There's no... There's no, no, no. no. What, they're, what, what the question is, what's the game plan? We're building subways in the next election. Absolutely no, we're, but he's asking, gonna, I think, personally, how are you going to basically change your image? Well, I'm going to be working out. If I'm not down at 30, 40 pounds in the next six months, then I can eat my words. Uh, you know, if uh, I haven't touched a drop of alcohol. I'm dealing with a team of professionals. I'm getting the help for sometimes my, sometimes I, my excessive drinking. But guys, I think this is getting blown out of proportion. I'm here, I've never missed a day of council. You put my attendance record up against any councillors down there, and I guarantee I'll be in the top 10, and I'm the mayor. I'm in my, down there more than some of the councillors are. So. You know what? Talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words. I encourage everyone to vote on October 27, 2014. Well, you know something, Rob? We're going to continue building subways. 
They said you couldn't build, first of all, they said you couldn't get elected. Then they said they couldn't uh, stop the gravy train. Not only did we stop the gravy train, but we got the subway train now. We, you're, you know, it was, it's tough enough trying to get council to decide on anything, but you had council on board, you got the province on board, you got the feds on board, and we're finally, finally delivering transit to the people of Scarborough that we absolutely love and uh, I always say, God bless Scarborough. They've been ignored for 50 years. I'll tell you one thing, under the Ford administration, you haven't been ignored. I agree. We have to take a quick break. We'll be back to Sun News. Coming up on Ford Nation, he's been the target of late night talk. What? Find out what Ford really thinks about all the barbs. What don't you understand? Get off the property, partner. Also, Ezra Levant sounds off on the media jihad against Toronto's mayor. But first, true confessions. Ford sits down with sun scrawler Joe Warmington and bears his soul like never before. Why should the public, A, believe you and also forgive you? Don't miss it. 